<laughs> Hello. How are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopan Bros and Tootin' Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps. They were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm gonna use the invincible tub of blubble on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness! We have a problem. Why, Kami Koopa, what's got you so riled up? You look upset. <laughs> what? The star spirit flew away from Tubba Blubba's castle! K King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The star spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tubba blubba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We'd better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find something, anything, about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Let me talk to you about one of my favorite characters, possibly in all of fiction. Paper Peach. Not Princess Peach, Paper Peach. Normally, I, I don't like Princess Peach at all. I think she sucks. Like, she's always, she gets captured like every day. She screws you over in Chance Time and Mario Party. And then she's got her whole, oh, did I win in Smash Brothers? No, I don't like Peach normally, but man, in this game, she's a freaking badass. She's been helping out and like really making an effort to get information to Mario. She's been the reason that we've been able to get this done as fast as we have. There's still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. She's daring and takes on authority for the good of the people. We're getting to sneak around her castle now? And we get to do some stealth stuff with her. We gotta not get caught by the guards. There are guards here too. Probably lots of them. Best be extra careful. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I would say that your name is Solid Peach, but I've, I've kind of already said that. Uh, so I guess um, as an evolution of that, you'd be a liquid peach. Uh, peach Juice. Peach Juice is your code name. Got a bit of a dining room right here. The way that she mouthed off to Bowser after being like, tell you what, I'll smile after you make everything back the way I was. That's a good line. She rules. Deep focus badge. When using focus, charges star energy more than usual. Oh, look there. What a beautifully crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool. So, where is this other treasure chest anyway? Uh, where is it? You know, I can't remember. Huh. Where have we seen a chest like this? This girl is good and cheap. Right, this girl is good and cheap. When using focus, charge a star energy more than usual. Pop that in there. And we'll see if we can't help Mario with that. A lot of you have commented on Twink's name being cute when we were kids, but aging like moist bread. Uh, I sort of don't know like what's so bad about that name. I've never really heard it used in like a negative connotation before or in any sort of like slang. I don't know. I'm not really up to date on the hip poggers that all the kids are talking about these days. I'm sorry. I know. All Let's Players these days play their Minecrafts and their Fortnites and I just play Mario like a loser. <laughs> but I'm a good loser. 
<laughs> him sitting there smiling, being like, hey, he don't know me. He don't know I'm here. We'll get another badge, Power Rush. When Mario's in danger, his attack increases by two. I'm gonna go back and put that in. Oh! Well, um, speedrunning tactics, I meant to do that. That'll get me back there faster. You know, you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I have to take you back. Ugh. She looks so done with this every time it happens. It's like even she knows how much she gets captured. Well, I certainly would hope that she would know. I don't know, maybe it all just blurs together and like her memories of what happened on each capturing just kind of gets intermixed with other memories of being captured because she spends so much of her life like that. It's sort of like the prison that is high school. After long enough, you just kind of forget what happened in what specific year. You just remember that it happened in high school. In it goes. Playing with fire or light. Here we go. Yes. Okay. A fun bit of trivia I want to talk about is I really like Bowser's character design in this, how he looks like kind of like a mix of mean and cute at the same time. According to pre-release screenshots, he was originally going to look a lot meaner and nastier in this game. And I guess with the risen stakes and the more serious tone than with other Mario games, they did do a good job of making him sound really threatening. And I remember taking this conflict so seriously when I was a kid, so... Maybe they just thought that they wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit to fit the rest of the style, but I do like this beta design. I like the final one too. They're both good. There's a life shroom, but unfortunately, uh... Peach doesn't feel like floating today. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in a castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near the castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down starting with its head. Chomp. That would sound terrifying, but they kinda only have heads. What, do you think he starts like with the hand? Oh man, that's so scary. I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubba Blubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He's enjoying this. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up! Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's called a secret, you halfwit. Twink! It sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're going off in here? Say that real loudly. Oh, whoa, Princess Beach, uh, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Oh no! I love how seriously they play this up and make him sound so threatening while he's got a name like Tubba Blubba. There's the mix of goofy and mean at the same time that I loved about Bowser. Thank you, Mario. At last I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So good to meet you in person. You've got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I am a star spirit after all. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. That girl. 
gives us quite a good power that I've been talking up status a lot and I'm really excited to show this one. But she also confused me a lot as a kid. I remember that I didn't get that she was a play on the word mama, so I was calling her Maymar, but I'd never heard of the word Maim before. So I was making her sound ultra violent thinking that, well, Mamar just sounds like Lamar and I don't think that's what they were going for and it's also not a name, so I think that she's Maymar. That's what I was going with. <laughs> just thought that was really funny. Oh, hey, Colorado. Um, I still don't want to give you that letter, so, uh, you know what, Bombette? I did say that you were the only one to not have a conversation with Colorado, so you can have one. If you so wish. You seem a little shy. Well, what ill luck! No clues about the ruins! I'm getting so frustrated that I might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say? Mario! That artifact you hold in your hand! It looks like... it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me or is that a clue to dry dry ruin? Mario! Oh, Tim! I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? No! Hmm? Hmm. Are you quite sure? Yes. Oh, bother! Well, I can't force you. I'll just suffer. <laughs> Damn! That was really harsh! Professor Colorado told me to look everywhere for clues about dry, dry ruins, but I'm a little nervous because I haven't found anything yet. Researching these ruins is incredibly difficult. Everyone on the dig is completely exhausted. Sometimes I wonder whether dry, dry ruins is really hidden there or if it's just a local myth. So it sounds like the excavation was a failure and they're just kind of going home after exploring this one little area of the desert. Oh, how sad. I feel more bad for his lackeys than anything else. We are cl we're gonna climb all over Mr. Rugged and I'll meet you back over by the train station. If we did not defeat Buzzer before, uh, Buzzer would be here and would stop us all over again. No! Chill out, man. It's just one damage. And you got Quake Hammer. You're good. You're good. There you go. That's a good chugga. Pat me on the head, please. Uh, I killed this guy without even trying all over again! Only getting one star point for him now. Back at the start was this stone block, and behind it, another upgrade! Aw, oh, look at her in that dynamic pose that I was praising before. You guys just have such charming expressions. Bombet, we'll upgrade you just on virtue of not having better partners to upgrade. Sorry, but Goombario is just not that worth upgrading. It's kind of sad, but... Charging, I doubt you'll really have that many opportunities to even use the dang thing a lot of the time. It's certainly not useless, it's just that without other things available, it kind of doesn't work. You'll understand one day. Or maybe you already do. Maybe you already played this game. Maybe you're a huge expert. Maybe you taught me that the Koopa Bros will actually fall over from any attack once they are shaken, something that I didn't know and would have changed the way that I fought them. I was never aware of that because I always assumed it had to be an attack from the side, but Goombario even mentions it in the tattle. Well, back we go. Are you coming aboard? All aboard is coming aboard! Not gonna force Paracarry into a cardio workout by having to flap to keep up with the train. He already got in his reps for this week. We can always skip the cutscene by pressing B after we've seen it once, but why do that? It's fun. And the remix of the song is great. Toad Town! Toad Town! We have lots and lots of places to go around town. Yet again, a lot of things have opened up. It's sort of the thing that RPGs do with Hubtown. So, I'll meet you over by wherever I'm going first. We talked to you briefly before. Water and dirt, sunshine, power. Beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. You said that you wanted bubble seeds. 
And we found two of those suckers. I'll give you one, but will I give you the other? Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll plan it right away. It's <laughs> so cute as she jumps around. Age old story, if you plant all four of the different colored bulb flowers, a miracle will occur. I wonder what'll happen. I can hardly wait for that day to come. I sort of forgot to do this on our last visit, so I just really didn't want to forget now. It's so satisfying seeing this gradually build up over time. And there you go, have a happy day. Hey, I'm gonna go see my brother Luigi! Oh my god. He's buried beneath the floorboards! Scream if you can hear me! Huh, well, I guess he's singing. It is pretty off key, maybe that counts. Koopa Troopas sent us a mail. Dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopas in the village, really appreciate that what you've done for us. We must apologize for not rewarding you with anything, but we are, we are but simple Koopas. Please drop by the village whenever you like, anytime. It'd be our honor. Best of luck from all of us. Sincerely, the Koopa Troopas at Koopa Village. What are you talking about? You gave me the village idiot. Here's how my stats are doing. That's looking pretty nice. We got 10% on the star pieces, over a quarter of the badges. We first struck an enemy 91 times and they've gotten us seven times. And I've done 10 power bounces. Well, the best part of not having a brother who's alive anymore is he won't be able to keep annoying us to bring him along on our adventures or whatever it is he says. Anyway, we made it back to town and finished rescuing a star spirit. Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna see just how many things changed around Toad Town. See you guys then.